In this area of Austria-Hungary live some Serbs and Bosnians who hated living in Austria-Hungary. So the Austro-Hungarian Archduke Franz Ferdinand goes there for a nice drive in an open-top car with his car's route published in advance. And that went just about as well as you'd expect. Some assassins were waiting for him along the way and threw bombs at his car. But they missed and blew up some officers behind him instead. So the Archduke goes into hiding, leaves Sarajevo, and the whole war never happens. Except no, the Archduke doesn't leave, but instead goes back out in the open top car to visit the injured officers in hospital. The driver takes a wrong turn and by sheer coincidence gets stuck beside one of the failed assassins, who shoots him. Austria-Hungary is understandably pissed about all this, and they think the Serbian government had something to do with it, which they might have. So they go to their ally Germany and say, Hey Germany, we're gonna declare war on Serbia, and Germany is all for that. So Austria-Hungary send a big list of impossible demands to Serbia, and when Serbia refuses, they declare war. Austria-Hungary and Germany are friends, and Serbia is protected by Russia who's friends with France, so they all declare war on each other. Montenegro joins in too. France and Britain also have a kind of alliance, so when France says, Hey Britain, you got my back? Britain is like, maybe and then they decide to stay out of it which is great for germany because germany has a plan they know that russia is so big and clumsy that it will take them a while to get ready for war so with this guy in charge germany will send all its troops into france at lightning speed while russia's getting ready defeat france then move all the troops to russia and defeat russia and then we all speak german and eat pfeffer potast every day just one problem france has loads of forts and defenses along its german border and Germany can't waste any time fighting them, so Germany decides to go around them, through Belgium. Belgium is neutral, but Germany wants to march 750,000 troops through it to get around France's defenses. They're hoping Belgium will just kind of sit down and shut up, but they don't. They fight back, and they're pretty good too, so they slow the Germans down. What's worse is that Britain shows up, and they're pretty pissed that Germany's invading neutral countries, so now Britain declares war in Germany. So Germany push on through Belgium and commit some atrocities along the way. They also wear spikes and sometimes skulls on their uniform. So if you're trying to not look like the bad guys, good job. The Allies have a propaganda extravaganza and this starts having an influence around the world, notably in America. The US President Woodrow Wilson sees himself as a bit of a Jesus figure and spends most of the war trying to get everyone to just hug it out. But there's also a large population of ethnic Germans living in the United States and when the war first broke out they were like, yay Germany. But now that they're committing atrocities in Belgium, they're less enthusiastic.